Today, we're talking about gloves. The gloves I use for all of my winter activities. So let's just get into it. When I used to work at places like Sport Check, that is our local sports store where you get all your skiing, snowboarding, outdoor activity gear around here. When I used to work at Sport Check, we would get a ton of different gloves in every year and I sold clothing. All winter outdoor types of clothing. Anything to do with outdoor clothing, that is what I sold. And we would get all the new brands as they were, you know, I, I was actually working there when Rip Zone and Gordini came out. And when they first came out, I hated them. They were their cheap lower end brands. I would not use them. And of course now I have so many different styles of gloves that I use for my work purposes. Um, at least a dozen different kinds. I go through a lot of different gloves for a lot of different reasons. So these are kind of gloves that I keep under the seat of my truck. They are your typical entry level cheap winter glove that you will find on sale every year. Rip Zone and Gordini, as far as I'm concerned, they're almost identical quality. The Rip Zone are actually, this particular model is actually complete garbage. I haven't used them that much and they, uh, it's on the other glove, but these have separated right along here and the foam insulation is coming out of them. Yeah, they're a little dirty. It's usually, uh, what I use them for is actually tying straps down on the trucks when I'm hauling them. Just when it's cold. But they get wet very easily. They're not waterproof. I'm actually not doing a review on these. I'm working up to a glove that I want to tell you guys about. I'm just telling you why I'm not a fan of these. They're just a backup glove I had under my seat. The Gordini's a little bit better, a little bit longer. Getting your hand in when they're wet isn't as difficult. You know when the, inside, uh, the insert of your glove comes out when you pull your sweaty hand out and you can never get your fingers back in? Well, that's what I like to try and avoid. I hate gloves like that and I've tried so many different styles of gloves that end up doing that. So far, the Gordinis have been good that way. I have had no rips or tears. They've been pretty decent, better than the rip zones. They haven't ripped anywhere and uh, they're a very soft glove for what I'm using them for, dealing with chains and, you know, cinches and all that kind of stuff. I don't think they're going to make it through the season, so expect to get one or two seasons out of either of these gloves. These are, <clears throat> can't even remember who makes these, <laughs> but these are a mitt. Let me just uh, find my other one that I got sitting here. There it is. Horizon which I have never heard. Probably should have looked at this before, but I have never heard of Horizon Mitts. They're extremely tough, extremely durable, and I actually used them, uh, I used to keep them in my plow truck for when you had to shovel on those really, really cold days where you don't want your fingers separated, you actually want them all together to keep them warm. So these gloves now have uh, converted over to firewood gloves. We use them for loading firewood, cutting firewood, running the splitter, all that kind of stuff. And have had absolutely zero issues with them. They are spectacularly durable. They're warm, but they're mitts. The thing about mitts is I can't stand wearing them. I hate wearing mitts, which brings me to my favorite glove in the whole wide world. I have had this glove since 1999. These are Combi three finger gloves and they still make them today. And I got these in 1999. I have used them for snowboarding. I've used them for snowmobiling. And one of the things I really like is this material. I do not know what it's made of, but it's really tough and durable. So when you're snowboarding, obviously when you're leaning over, you tend to drag your hands on the ground quite a bit. And I have no wear on them since 1999. They are warm, they are durable. They are the best 
outdoor winter glove I've ever worn. Uh, I worked at Articat. I got to try out all types of different gloves for snowmobiling. I always come back to these. The only issue uh, that they have is right here bunches up a little bit. So it doesn't actually cover the sleeves of your jacket when it does that. But for the rest of the glove, I don't care. There's no frays, none of the stitchings come apart. They are absolutely unbelievable. And I didn't know they still make uh, these types of gloves today. They actually make a ton of different models. And I recommend getting them and I will be getting more of them. So Combi, you guys rock. And that's your quick glove review today. Just wanted to tell you about these three finger, I call them my lobster gloves. What I like is they keep your fingers warm at least two together at a time on those really cold days when you don't want to wear mitt. That was one of my favorite things about them. But the durability is just uh, unmatched. I have never come across a glove that's as good as these.